first rendering has been released showing the new fighter demonstrator being built in the United Kingdom, and the aerospace world is paying attention. For the first time in over 40 years, the UK is building a brand new fighter design. This isn't just an update, it's a bold leap into the future of air combat, where stealth, digital integration, and international cooperation converge. The aircraft you're looking at right now is the Combat Air Flying Demonstrator, a crucial stepping stone in the ambitious Tempest program. And while it might bear a resemblance to the F-35 at first glance, what lies beneath is a vastly different beast with the mission to redefine the UK's aerial supremacy. This is what the UK's new stealth fighter demonstrator will look like. Unveiled through a digital rendering by BAE Systems, the demonstrator represents not only advanced aerospace design, but the combination of a multinational vision. Designed and developed in Warren, England, the aircraft aims to take its first flight by 2027 and will feed directly into the configuration of the Tempest fighter, which the UK hopes to have operational by 2035. But why does this matter? Because the Tempest isn't just a new jet, it's the tip of the spear for a new era in air dominance. At first glance, the demonstrator resembles the Lockheed Martin F-35 with its outward canted twin tail fins and diverterless supersonic inlets, or DSI. But look closer, and the differences are striking. Most noticeably, there are no horizontal stabilizers. The wing design is a cropped delta shape with a large leading edge root extension, a lurx, a feature absent in earlier Tempest renderings. It also has a flattened, broad fuselage housing twin Eurojet EJ200 turbofans, the same power plants used in the Eurofighter Typhoon. This gives the aircraft a boxier rear section, possibly designed to better conceal exhaust nozzles, a key feature in stealth aircraft development. Now, to understand the real impact of this demonstrator, we have to look past its appearance and into its purpose. More than a prototype, it's a testbed for revolutionary manufacturing and digital technologies. Over two-thirds of its structural weight is already being manufactured, with robotic assembly, 3D printing, and digital twins playing central roles in the production process. This is not just about building a jet, it's about transforming how aircraft are made, tested, and integrated into future battle networks. Test pilots have already logged over 300 hours flying this exact aircraft design in simulators. Developed in collaboration between BAE Systems, Rolls-Royce, and the Royal Air Force, these simulation sessions include high-speed maneuvers, flight control refinements, and stealth optimization. And that's only phase one. In parallel, a modified Boeing 757, nicknamed Excalibur, is being used to test next-gen radar, sensors, and combat systems that will eventually be fused into Tempest's final design. So what exactly is the UK trying to achieve with Tempest? The answer is both ambitious and strategic. The Royal Air Force wants an aircraft with a larger internal payload than the F-35A, potentially double, and an extreme operational range. We're talking transatlantic without refueling. That alone would revolutionize deployment flexibility. Combine that with stealth, data fusion, and a new AI-assisted cockpit, and Tempest is shaping up to be a true sixth-generation platform. But here's where it gets politically interesting. The Tempest program falls under the UK's broader Future Combat Air System, or FCAS, which also envisions swarming drones, hypersonic weapons, and secure combat cloud connectivity. This is a far bigger ecosystem than just one fighter. And the UK isn't going it alone. The Global Combat Air Program, or GCAP, brings in Italy and Japan, merging industrial capabilities, R&D budgets, and operational requirements across continents. Still, the road ahead is anything but smooth. Defense analysts have pointed out the tight timeline, with only eight years between the demonstrator's planned first flight and Tempest's expected entry into service. Compare that to the Eurofighter Typhoon, which took 17 years 
from demonstrator to operational status. And then there's the issue of money. The UK's defense budget is already being pulled in multiple directions, not least by nuclear submarine programs and rising global commitments. Perhaps the biggest wild card is the F-35 itself. The UK is purchasing 12 F-35A jets, the conventional variant, to operate alongside its F-35B fleet. The A model brings cost savings and nuclear capability. If the UK leans into the F-35A in larger numbers, that could siphon attention and funding from Tempest. And Lockheed Martin isn't standing still either. Rumors of F-35 Ferrari-level upgrades, including pilot optional control, advanced stealth coatings, and even more powerful processors, suggest that the US platform will remain a formidable competitor deep into the 2030s. But there is precedent here. Back in 1986, the UK flew the EAP, Experimental Aircraft Program, demonstrator. It looks strikingly like what would eventually become the Eurofighter Typhoon. While powered by older Tornado engines, it proved concepts that shaped European air power for decades. Tempest's demonstrator now sits in the same legacy lane, a technological proving ground not only for the airframe, but for how future warplanes will be built, flown, and evolved. This is a battle not just in the skies, but in engineering labs, simulation rooms, and budget meetings. If successful, the combat air flying demonstrator could anchor a renaissance in British aviation, a launch pad for the Tempest, and a powerful signal to allies and adversaries alike. If it falters, the consequences could ripple across military procurement strategies for years. One thing is certain, the next few years will determine whether the UK remains at the cutting edge of fighter technology or becomes reliant on buying it from elsewhere. So as we watch this sleek digital phantom turn into a flying reality, the question isn't just what will it look like, it's will it fly on time and will it change the game?